Okay, y'all, so we're learning lobster tails today. Let's do this. Okay, so as you can see, she's freshly retwisted. Um, I've parted her hair straight down the middle because she wants two of the lobster tails. Okay, so get as evenly as you can um, amount of locks on each side. So, or how many ever lobster tails you will be doing. Section it out first though, okay? Get the hair in a position and your client's head in a position to where you can see pretty clearly on the top. You're gonna grab the first two locks and you're just gonna crisscross them, okay? If you grabbed from the right, you're gonna just pull it over and crisscross it. You're gonna now grab from the left side and crisscross it, but pull it under and kind of wrap it around, okay? And now that's what you're gonna continue to do. Grab from the right, pull it over, wrap it around, pull from the left, wrap it over and wrap it around. Not fully around, you're just gonna wrap it around the bundle that you have and lay the lock right at the bottom. So go ahead, I'm gonna let you get into it. Watch and see, uh, watch my handwork and save this video, run it back, do what you gotta do. But this is like the simplest, one of the simplest lock styles that you can do. Super simple. We're just going from left to right or from right to left. Nothing will change until you get to the end, okay? I'm gonna let you keep watching.
Okay, so now we're getting to the end. We're getting to the bottom, the last couple locks. You're going to keep doing the same thing, pulling it over, wrapping it around. But since these are your last ones, like your last two locks that you're working with, go ahead and wrap it around until you get to the end of the lock. And then grab another long lock from the other side. Do the same thing. Now, uh, she has... Um, beautiful locks they're thicker at the ends so i would typically just tuck it but um in this case i don't want to make it too bulky so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clip it here keep it in place and we're going to secure it with a rubber band but make sure anytime you use rubber bands on locks don't don't put them in tight Okay, because those are the things that can damage locks, um, start, you know, breakage, stuff like that. Okay, so we're just going to put, um, maybe we're going to double it up. And we're going to put two rubber bands right here and make sure, you make sure you oil your rubber bands first before you apply them to any hair, any hairstyle. Always make sure you moisturize your rubber bands. Let me say that one more again. Moisturize them rubber bands, okay? Because it's that can also cause breakage on not just locks, but, you know, strands of hair. And you don't want to do that. And then on top of that, the rubber bands will last longer in your hair because they're moisturized. They won't just get dry and break, okay? So here we go. We're going to tuck that lock just a little bit just so it's in place. And then we're going to place the rubber band one good time around the whole bundle, like a little ponytail. Okay. So just get all those locks in there and try not to pop that rubber band because it's one of the small ones. You don't, you don't really need a big one unless you're working with some of those. That's fine too. You might have to go around two times. So you see it there. It's nice and secured. We're going to grab one more lock just to we're gonna cover up the rubber band and we're gonna tuck the end of this and that's it voila you see how easy that is beautiful all done that's it that's all you see how you do that you do that one more time on the other side and you're good thanks for watching remember to subscribe and like for more content